Italians first came to Buenos Aires over a hundred years ago and their descendants actually make up quite a sizable percentage of the population here. So it's no surprise that their influence can be felt all over the place. They speak Spanish here, yes, but it has a kind of Italian lilt. And then too, there's Italian food. So we're actually going to be making some fresh pasta here in Papadeus. And to do that with me is the chef, who is Martin Rodriguez. And this is Andrea, who is not the chef, but who is going to be translating because Martin speaks absolutely no English and we've already established that I speak absolutely no Spanish. Thank you so much, Andrea. You're welcome. So how are we actually going to start today? ¿Cómo vamos a empezar hoy? Eh, bueno, vamos a hacer una masa de pasta casera. All right. Eh, la fórmula clásica que es cada 100 gramos de harina, un huevo. He said he's going to prepare the typical homemade pasta right. and the formula for it is every hundred, every hundred um, grams of flour you put one egg. Right, okay. La masa so, va a ser de, de remolacha. This is, um, de pasta de remolacha. this is looking like grated beetroot, fresh beetroot to me. It's going to have a beautiful colored right. pasta. La moscada. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Sal. Salt. Salt. Some olive oil. Pimiento. Some pepper. Pimiento. And this is vinegar. Un chorrito de agua. And a bit of water. Listo. I tell ya. The universal language of food. <laughs> and you're just getting your hands in there and mixing it all up. Look at the color of it already. It's gorgeous. He's putting together all the ingredients, the egg with the beet and the flour, so you can get, you know, the texture. Nice and, yeah. Exactly. Bringing it all together so it's nice and sort of pliable and strong. Okay. They don't really, they do this um, until the, all the flour and all the ingredients are together, but you don't, you don't want to, you know, overwork it. Exactly, because it, it will be very hard yeah. afterwards. So you wrap the dough now with film, right. plastic wrap, and okay. you put it to kind of rest in the fridge. Right. Okay. One or two hours. Now the, he's folding the dough so we can get it to be more flexible. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's going to be once you eat it, it's going to be firm, but at the same time it's going to be soft. Right. Okay. okay. Because he was explaining also that uh, we eat pasta in Argentina differently than what they do in, it in Italy. Italy. Right. Because there it's like they, they, the, the actual pasta is harder. Right. That we actually kind of overcook it a little bit more so it's softer. Okay. All right. Okay. He's going to fill it with um, ham and ricotta. Okay. So we have some chopped up ham in here as well as some ricotta cheese all mixed in, right? Okay, go ahead. Como decirle que estamos en decirle que estamos en Santel, un barrio de Buenos Aires que que es como todo muy casero acá y muy rústico, no 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 hacemos las cosas muy como muy prolijas, muy elaboradas. Okay. La cocina de este barrio, sobre todo en Buenos Aires, es es así, es muy rústica, muy casera. Eh, las cosas son eh, sencillas. Okay. Now what he's telling us is that we are in San Telmo, which is a, a neighborhood in Buenos Aires where you have a lot of restaurants, but uh, what it's you know it's not a fancy place to go eating. It's actually things are rustic and more like homemade. Delicious. <laughs> Right, okay, so you, oh my gosh, we missed the whole thing, so you fold it over. Okay, cool. And with this whirly gig, what's this? Let's have a look at this. What is this? ¿Qué es? ¿Cómo se llama? Es un corta pasta, un corta pasta. It's to cut the pasta. Right. Oh, right. And make it look very pretty. Um, now it's time to, to cook them. Okay. ¿Cómo? Ahora habría que cocinarlos, o sea. Listo. Eh, los hacemos con un pesto de rúcula y, 
y queso parmesano. Esa es la, la salsa que llevan los panzotes. A pasta with arugula and parmesan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to make a sauce for this pasta now. Um, in Argentina, it's not as maybe um, spicy as it, it is in it, it, Italy. Okay, wait. This is what? Butter. A lot of butter. Yeah, a lot of butter. Right, okay. Now usually this, because it's homemade pasta, it takes about six minutes. Mm -hmm. It's different than, you know, the one you, may, you may buy in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. And plus, Argentinian like uh, pasta to be a little oh, bit okay. overcooked. So what's he just adding there? ¿Qué le estás agregando? El pesto. A la crema le agrego el pesto. He added the pesto. Which the is a little bit of basil, ground basil and olive oil. Right? Fresh basil. Muchas gracias. This looks absolutely fantastic.